TV Wire concludes its series touring Fulton Street. I asked our host Craig Sharton from the Downtown Fresno Partnership how much turning Fulton Mall into Fulton Street costs. Twenty-two million, which is about the cost of a freeway on-ramp. And that's coming from public funds. Yes, all road projects are public funds at this point. So that, that's part of the, the, the part of that federal grant. So. Yeah, the Tiger Grant. So the Tiger Grant is uh, for uh, transportation projects that will have an effect on an economy. I guess uh, the uh, million dollar question is, as we've been walking and talking here, where are people going to park? Where are the cars going to go? Well, it's another thing that pedestrian malls are bad at, is they block uh, people from the normal circulation that they're used to. So we actually have a lot of parking here. It's hard to describe but it's a weird situation where you have to go to the outside to find parking before you know what's on the inside. So now you'll be able to drive up Fulton. Every intersection you get to, you'll be able to turn right, left, or both, and there'll be a sign clearly marking the parking. So now you'll be able to say, hey, there's that restaurant I heard about. Either park on the street if there's an available space, or by the next intersection, you'll be directed to a garage or a lot. 200 new on-street parking stalls. Which, on-street parking is the most important thing for retail. And it'll do maybe uh, metered spaces? Yes. You have to have metered to keep things turning over. Uh, and the meter money actually will go to help pay for the ma maintenance of the art, the landscape, fountains, sidewalks, and street. Uh, what do you say to people who say that's one of the biggest detriments why they don't want to come downtown? They don't want to pay for parking. Well, uh, all they'd have to do would be to travel a little bit and go to medium to big size cities. It's sort of a necessary evil. Um, but we have one hour free in the garages right now, so if they're worried about getting a ticket, um, uh, they can just park in one of the garages. These lanes right here, kind of a non sector here, but these, these are the parkings? Uh huh, yeah, so this concrete is the parking space. So parallel parking, 200 new spaces. Finally, we talked about if the 50 year experiment of Fulton as a pedestrian mall was a success. No, it was a, it was a, I, I admire the people who put it in because it was um, a really bold move but they didn't put in any way to check to see if it was performing well or not. So if I put you on a new exercise program, I'd want to see if you could actually lift more weight after four weeks. And they really didn't check in to see how it was working. And so like most of the pedestrian malls, after six to eight years, they all started declining. That's why people started taking them out. Ours lasted that same amount of time, basically 64 to 72 or 74, and then it started tailing off, and nobody did anything about it. You know, we didn't we didn't track to see how it was performing. So, you know, I think with good data, they we should have pulled this thing out in the 80s. The grand opening for Fulton Street is October 21st. David Taub, GV Wire.